one of the things you have to realize is we've had payments or problems with uh, different things being damaged before. Like if you had a book and you ripped all the pages out of it, and you were expected to pay for the book. Well, now the pad is probably going to be a lot closer to you than the book ever was. But there are a few specific things that we have to make sure you understand. Okay, this is the school pad. So, here's one of the nice little underlined statements. If a student fails to return the pad at the end of the school year or upon termination of enrollment at Wilmer Senior High School, the student will be subject to criminal prosecution or civil liability. Basically, we want the pad back. Okay? Now, what happens if I break things on it? Now, we purchased a case for it. We, have had, we haven't had any pads that have been in a case covering all four corners that have been damaged. But, if these things happen, as some students will find ways of doing things, there are costs for them. Just like ripping pages out of the book, there are costs for them. Okay. If the screen is damaged, say a crack goes across it, the cost is up to $150. What it would do is we're actually going to be repairing it in-house. Um, it will not have a perfect screen again. It will look perfect, but it won't feel exactly the same because it will be a cheaper piece of glass on it. Okay? That we will fix in-house. You'll probably be without your pad for a day, day and a half, something like that. Okay? Up to a week. Now, the next fee. Um, replacement cost for the iPad case. Now, we do realize that there will be wear and tear in the case, and you'll be able to decorate them and different things like that. Um, we are going to require that when you turn in your pad at the end of the year that you turn in a case, okay, or this case. Um, that would be a $25 fee if you don't return a, return a case. Next one. Replacement for the provided iPad wall charger is $30. That's going rate right for the charger and the cable. This charger is kind of special because an iPad charger um, can charge the pad faster than a regular phone charger. And then the last one. Complete replacement for the pad is $400. Now that means that it cannot be repaired. That means it was possibly driven over. It's not shaped the same as it was before. Okay? But I had to, you know, these are the numbers that we had to make sure that you realize. To hopefully alleviate a little parental stress, because those are some pretty high figures, uh, in the last year and a half, we've replaced the screen on five iPads. That's it. We've had over 200 iPads in the district, and we, we, we've replaced just five screens. I'd like to say zero, but through our pilot process, one of the cases that we originally bought doesn't cover all four corners. We thought we got a good deal, it was pretty bulky, but if you don't cover the corners of the pad and it drops, even on this uh, carpet with concrete underneath, you will shatter that screen. So as long as you use our case, you go through some of the basics that Mr. Gerken's going to talk about here in a second, there shouldn't be those additional fees. One of the things I'd like to stress to the students today is, this is really cool, in 1992, we bought these things called lockers. They are so cool. Now, I say that because most of the students in this building do not use a locker. Back in the day, we always used the locker. But for some reason, we don't lock up anything anymore. I'm telling you, you have a $400 piece of glass when you go to practice, when you're going to be gone for a while, and it's not locked up in the classroom, use your locker. Save your parents some stress, save yourself some stress, save yourself some money. There shouldn't be a need for any additional cost, but we do need to make sure we go over that.